Hey guys, Moggy here with another episode of the Fixer series on Call of Duty Ghosts. In today's video, we will be using the SC2010 as suggested by Stitchy Plays. So, uh, guys, play some Chasm TDM and uh, let's see how we can do. Hopefully, we can get a few kills off the start because that's what gets the gameplay good and good. But it's going to be quite difficult. I normally wouldn't even use this weapon without a red dot. Never mind the four group, so it's gonna be a challenge, but uh, let's get a wee cheeky reload. We don't have sleight of hand, so can't reload anywhere we want. But uh, let's see, where can we, can we basically go from here? I don't, I don't want to be like too out in the middle, if you know what I mean. Because of the fact that uh, I don't have dead silence and everyone out in the middle would just hear me like fucking hear me so easily so that's what we want to stay away from but then I killed that guy and I've got a feeling he is going to spawn over there so we're just going to wait by for him to come back for his revenge actually you never know he might not even come back for revenge and we can just kill that guy instead right that guy will he come back for his revenge though I don't know oh come on I know it's a perk that is like a must need, but I don't see how he is killing me. First shot to a more powerful weapon. And I'm still losing. The main... I think the main focus you want to be doing on your weapon without focus is... Uh, what I mean by it is... Like, look at this, I can't even hit them because of they're shooting me and the bullets just... Thing. Whenever someone is contesting a thing, uh, a battle... Basically, with you, what you want to be aiming for is their feet. So if they shoot you, the ball, your gun, not having focus, will shoot up to the air, and you will get a headshot. So that's what you want to be aiming for, their feet. But that can be really, 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 really difficult. So it's quite a challenge. Like, look at this camping what? What is he even doing? Enemy care Enemy oh, I thought he was going to kill me after me getting first bullets and everything. Alright, let's see. We're safe up in this area. Far now. May not be forever. But now we're doing good. Now we are getting a streak going, but it doesn't matter if we get streaks going because we haven't got no fucking kill streaks. Sorry about any background noise as well, guys. I can't really do nothing about it, but still doing pretty decent, guys. And I know this isn't the best gameplay. If you go and watch someone like RT or fucking any or big YouTuber that does amazing gameplays, they're all going to upload a gameplay a lot better than this. But I bet if you ask them to use a weapon by itself with nothing, they would turn out something similar because it is really difficult. I think the main difficulty is not to focus. I was lucky not. That, that guy didn't actually hit me with a single bullet because probably would have lost the battle but anyway we're safe for now we're gonna have to pick up this m -tar. i know it's not the weapon we're supposed to be using but just in case we do run out of ammo look at this fucking wanker just get rid of quick scoping this shit oh we didn't need quick scoping me it was just the fact that i'm fucking shit accuracy all right let's see now we're 10 of 5 still on a 2 kd it's pretty decent I think we just got ammo for our weapon as well. That's great. Oh my fucking god, it's a chicken. Nice gamer tag. I thought I was going to actually manage to kill him. That's why I hate not having sleight of hand as well. Getting in the situations like that. Right, we're still on a 2kd. I want to aim for something a little higher. Maybe like a 2.53. It's a pretty big ask to be honest. Oh, nice, got a headshot. Right, let's see. I'm just going to sit here for a minute and uh, wait. Because I just killed three guys right there. Right around the corner. So I know they will be back. Exactly as I said so. I knew he would be back. I just waited on the kill. Alright, oh, there was two of them. I could do fuck all. Right, 60 and 7, that's all pretty decent. That's just two kills above a 4 or a 2kd, so 
We're doing pretty good. Not gonna lie, I'm happy with this because every time I try to record for the series, I spend about three days trying to get a decent gameplay. To be honest, guys, I don't know. I just can't play without focus and and dead silence. So, like, there's gameplays I don't even get a kill. I go to record and I don't even get a kill. Like, that's how horrible I do. Da, hopefully, this one doesn't turn that bad. And as I say that, I just get fucked by a chicken. I definitely hit them. We're in the lead. Hopefully your bad Prime Set Master gets him. Where'd he go? Active. Did he die? Unless he left the game. But I can't see why he would do that to be honest. Alright, let's see if we can get a reload. That guy had the sniper so we were lucky. To be in that head glitch, he may have killed me. Alright, there's a guy spawning over this direction, I just want to make sure. Aw, oh, get fucking turned on, you wee son of a bitch. Uh, not too confident about the area I'm in right now. Got stuck in a fucking door and it caused me to die, that was really stupid. We were just over at 2KD. That's still decent. I know you guys probably don't like that sort of gameplay, but I can't do much better. If you want to see a better gameplay, well, check out my Goose Live series. That's where I go for my best gameplays because I get to choose what I'm, I use. Oh, fucking poet and I didn't know it. Oh, and I got the gameplay too. So 29, two kills over at 2KD. So what would our KD end up being? Something like a... Uh, I'm, to be honest, I'm not that sure. I'll check after the gameplay, but... Uh, got that sexy kill, I was gonna go for that guy and I just saw that guy aim at me, I was like, I need to take him out. And I managed to get him, I get the 20th kill of the game, I actually done the best, in the, uh, second best in the game, atomic kill and another team done better than me. But, uh, really happy with that and hopefully you are too. As I said, I can't get the best gameplays, so I will try a lot to try and get a good gameplay, but this, I'm actually recording this on the day I need to upload it, so I can't really wait much longer and reject this gameplay because I'll probably end up with something worse so I have to just go ahead and use this gameplay and uh, hopefully for next episode guys I will get a better gameplay if you want to see I got a 2.22 KD that's great but uh, if you want to see another episode with a weapon you like just leave it down in the comments but anyway guys let's jump on in for this thing I said in the game I never use this without red dot and foregrip so I'd always go with red dot and foregrip and I'd usually go red or blue or the new one, or is it hex? That's pretty nice as well. But I would normally not use a secondary. Perks I would go for are those three all the time. And then I would probably, let's see, considering that gameplay, what else would I go for? Well, anyway, I forgot about this. Ready up, I would always put ready up on. And maybe agility. Agility or ICU, let's see. Actually, I'd probably go with quick draw just because it helps you win the game, game, or not game plays, uh, one on ones like a lot. Having quick draw, ready up, and focus like, unless the opponent is using all three of these per perks as well, I can't see how you're not winning a fair gunfight. So, uh, that's what I go for. We do have a spare point, so I'd always go with frag grenade, and then I go for assault, trying to rock a battle hound, and Halo Pilot, just because I think with this weapon I can get a good gameplay, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, if you want to see another weapon, leave it down in the comment, and thanks for watching guys, goodbye, I'll see you in the next video.